So let's see how these players are going to fare against each other as they play this. I think this is our last winner's top eight qualifier with all the other winners already in there. So we have, uh, I think on the other side, it's uh, Siski and Andres FN. Um, so Team Spain, another team, another team like that. And then mm. Mars and well, Light. Yeah. So, oh, that, that'd be interesting. You know, we got we got a... Uh, if, if Team France wins this one, we'd have four countries represented exactly in mm -hmm. the top eight, all versus each other with the with the teammate pairings. So hopping into this game here, let's get started. Let's not waste any more time out here. Already starting off with an explosive start with the explosive flame coming in. Yeah, this is gonna be a a real a real test to see how Orion and Glutor are gonna deal with these with these players who just have that team chemistry down. They've been working together for so long. And you said already that they are working well together, but I wanna see if they can contest somebody on the likes of Spargo and Chag. Especially with the, the change up of attention that we've been seeing from Gluto whenever Orion's in trouble. Gluto's out here almost getting that back here with the re-grab. Yeah, that's definitely a scary situation for Spargo, who's already going to lose his stock, the first one down. And now, I mean, it seems like Orion, Orion and Gluto are covering each other really well on the landings. I liked how Gluto went aggressively in when Orion drifted to the left, which cover, covered it. And both these characters are so good at covering vertical spaces that it's so important to help your teammate land like that. Wow, the call in on the bike real quick, so that way it's the bike that tanks the back air hit instead of Gluto himself. The timing was impeccable right there. Unfortunately, some friendly fire with the back air is going to actually cost him his stock there too. Yeah, and that's that's always always not great when you're when you you hit your teammate, but it, it, it is a necessary evil occasionally when you're throwing out hitboxes. Mm. You cannot always avoid it. Yeah, but at least the follow-up potential that we saw immediately right there, too, from Spargo had allowed him to get the follow-up. Oh. oh! And, yeah, Orion going to fall. And Gluto attempting a save there. I'm not sure. Maybe he was trying to grab him with the up B. Uh, that is something we've seen. But Gluto has been hanging on this stock really well, and so has Chag. And as I say that commentator's curse, Chag falls the up smash from Orion. The patience just holding on to the ledge for Gluto just to wait and wait for Orion to try to make his comeback. Now on that last stock, though, and racking up, you see the rapid jab coming in. <laughs> Yeah, that, oh, okay, finally getting that stock with a down air out of shield, but Spargo is at high percent. We can see Gluto getting uh, getting one more big hit to get this kill, but an Orion right now is fishing with these baggers, trying to find a big one, a big meaty hit to take out Spargo for tilt off stage. How is he going to get this? Oh, another forward tilt should be it. And there, frees it up. Oh, he's still oh, living, he's, though. No, 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 what? Wow, I'm so surprised. Oh, but the, the waft on the head, still not enough to get the kill at this percent. You get pink eye. Everybody gets pink eye here. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be part of that. You saw him try to roll away from that situation. Late hit of Nair from Gluto is going to be able to land, and now he's going to just have to wait and shield for Orion to help him out. Gets the grab and the fall from the back air. Well, the back air was meant to fall up on the Palu, uh, sorry, on on Spargo, but then Spargo was just hitting, hitting his teammate right into him, so the back air actually hit Orion. And once again, this friendly fire has been not working out super well for them, but it's it's almost always set up by the other side. It's not like Gluto is throwing out a hit that's going to hit his teammate. Uh, Spargo is throwing Orion straight into the hit. Oh. And oh, wow. And suddenly we're on the last stock for, for all of these players as uh, Spargo, is, Spargo is at high percent, and so is Gluto, who's going to have to preserve his stock for a while if he wants another waft back up. We've seen it happen before, though. We saw it in their last set, the up smash coming in from Chag. Just waiting, playing with just the spacing that he could work with at the same time before falling up between these nares and up airs. He's forcing everybody to respect him. Yeah, I feel like the pace of the game is slowed down a lot too right now. I mean, both these, all these players realized they were on their last stock and then suddenly they're playing a lot safer. The stocks are not flying as rapidly as they had, but oh, half waft out of shield and an up smash. Gluto is in a really good position to get this edge guard, but okay, Chag is gonna find his way out of it. Ooh, off the punish from the original auto reticle that unfortunately Chag had done just point blank. Gluto with a follow up, 117 on the last stock. That was a really sick team check check chase where Orion covered right and tech in place as and Gluto covered tech left with that down smash. But okay, this should be the kill. Up smash on the platform does it. Set up for that so nicely. I saw that little the little slick wave land there. It was like, oh, yeah, he he, he was dancing with it real yeah. quick on the top platform. Nice spacing as well to get the follow up into the up smash. Again, it's that comeback potential that we were talking about before because we saw True. how the beginning right there did start off, although Spargo did lose out on that stock also pretty early. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that is a... Oh, can we hear them? Yeah, you get oh. so I was talking about that with Ethan. I think it's so cool that we have, like, I, I didn't realize we could comms. hear them. Can, can the stream hear them, too? Do we I, know? They should. They should be able to. If we hear them, I, I'm expecting uh, you guys to be able to hear them. Let us know, chat. Yeah. Pull you guys up real quick. Yeah. 
Oh, that's cool. I, I didn't realize it. I, I don't think they, they had that barely, earlier. They barely hear them. That's what it oh, is. Okay. Barely hear them. Barely but. hear them. But you know, just that little extra chatter. It's like you know when you watch an NFL game and you like hear you know like hear the the conversations going mm -hmm. on. It's like just enough to add that that vibe. You know. What I, I what I like the most is the post game combos that we have with the teams that ended up losing and like they <laughs> always talk about what they could be doing better. We got that with ease of MVD. But yeah. anyway, that was the last set. We're going on to another game. I love to see the the regional bias coming into through the chat between France and Mexico playing up against each other. You highlighted it perfectly before we got into the set. Spargo and Chak are the duo to look out for in a lot of these events. Yeah, I mean, they've won so many, so many uh, Smash Majors already. Not just not just any event, just Smash Majors, including the previous Genesis, that it's, it's a surprise to see them go down like this. I mean, they, they, they were playing really well, but it just seemed like the, the team coordination was even hotter on the other side of the field. Mm -hmm. The France team was hitting their team combos left and right, and especially love that team tech chase that we saw at the end. And the immediate retaliation from Gluto, we talked about his situation awareness, avoids that up here, but doesn't avoid the dash attack on the platform. Gluto lands immediately, just tries to play defensively into shield to try to help cover Orion at the same time. Spargo's ledge trapping has been amazing so far, though, and Orion is going to fall now with Spargo and Shag forming a wall that Gluto was not able to get through to save his partner. And now uh, it's it's two stocks up already, making that last game look like a fluke because Spargo and Shag are playing hot right now. Ooh, Shag does lose, lose out on that stock, though. I like that back throw, using uh, using the hitbox of the partner to uh, to block Gluto from getting a follow-up on the on the throw, a lot of times when you grab someone in doubles, it's a little bit dangerous because the throws take a long time and you can get you can get punished by their partner. But that time, it looked really good. And, oh, hack oh. does get it. <laughs> oh, he was cooking over to the side. While well, you saw Spargo was so busy, Orion on the other side to keep pressuring him. It was too late. Well, Spargo was looking behind him. He was like, oh, wait, I have to help you out. <laughs> yeah, and wow, that super early kill means Chag is already on the, his last stock. And now Spargo is going to have to tank a little bit of this one and make sure he donates the stock to the partner unless Chag is able to survive for a very long time at this point. Keeps trying to get the follows with these up smashes here too. Nice spacing just created by Chag with the auto reticle before trying to dive in. He gets the dash attack, but he loses out on that stock looking at Spargo. Wow, I'm, I'm really surprised that uh, Gluto's dash attack clanked with Spargo's because Spargo, like, that sword seems like it would be so much stronger than just the shoulder, but unfortunately, unfortunately for Spargo, does eat the big punish afterwards, and Gluto is the one who is staying alive for so long which is really important is for real because, you know, you want to be charging that waft up. Spargo took a lot of damage right there, too, between the follow-up that Orion was putting in after Gluto was using those nares just to prop him up. Yep. Okay, the vertical advantage state has been so good for Chag and Spargo. They've been looking for whenever their opponents are up in the air, they cover it so well with both sides up airs. And yes, the throw into the up smash, it's so effective as Palu's up smash is such a massive wave. And look at these team okay. combos. Oh, yeah. This is this is what I'm talking about. A coordination back air, back air. Let me down. Let <laughs> yeah. me down. He has to forcefully <laughs> use the bike to actually find a different way to go right down and into the up smash. The beam sending him up to the heavens. Yeah, the little dribble and then the the sky high with that laser. And yeah, wow, what a, what a, what an incredible ending there. It, it definitely felt like there was a point where. Uh, Wario and Wario was trying to come back in there. There was a couple opportunities for Gluto, but. Man, that was just a, such a decisive end that it felt impossible. It seemed like the ping pong game from Team Mexico was a little too overwhelming there too. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah, they're definitely ping ponging quite well. <laughs> <laughs> they're figuring, they're figuring out how to how to throw that ball back and forth, but just a, just a little rally. <laughs> yeah, Jack was doing a really good job with the follow ups too, especially after we saw him get that stock with the up smash at one point underneath mm -hmm. the platform as well, creating a lot of space. At one point, he took the lead between the two, so that way he could create the space. At one point, he used the auto reticle to catch a jump and then he immediately went right behind Spargo so that way Spargo could start taking the lead and create the aerial space that he was with the Nair and back air. Absolutely. Yeah, it's it's really important to 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 make note of like where like where your both of your opponents are because you can make a lot of space if you like zone out one of them while focusing on the other. And so yeah, Chag, Chag being able to focus two people at one time I think has been really really powerful this then last that last game. All right, moving on to town, and Gluto's already having a field day between these nares and these up airs now. And the reverse situation coming through for Chag. 
Trying to ca call out the opportunity in case Buddha wanted to jump early into that up air. Yeah, this was definitely uh, one of those one of those games that starts with a lot of uh, the one v ones, right? Where there's two one v ones going on the side, but now I think we're going to be a little bit more scrappy once these platforms go away because there's a lot oh, less space. Oh, and oh my oh, God, oh, oh, what an incredible <laughs> combo from Orion! Just hunted all the way down using that stretcher platform to get that first stock off of Spargo so quickly. Where's my Uber driver taking me <laughs> as the platform just scoots away? Oh. I don't want to be in this town or city anymore. <laughs> and then catches the landing with the back air, too. This is a very, very high-octane start to the match here, too. Yeah, both, the, both these players, uh, well, all of these players are really, really starting it up. And uh, the ping pong game was almost there, but unfortunately, Gluto not able to get that final hit. So Spargo is going to keep the limit, but actually is forced to use it. So now uh, does not have that kill option available anymore. Chag immediately not only just stops pause real quick after he uses these nares, he tries to reset to go for the follow-up to actually help out his partner here. And finally going to fall in the first second. Wow, just the raw half to off. I think Gluto has been using half waft almost every single time this this set. Only saw one full waft so far, and it's really just a a testament to like knowing he has to get the kills right now, and he knows mm. exactly how to find them with that with that earlier you know more power like less powerful option, but it recharges a lot more quickly, so you can get two maybe three in the set. Especially situationally by the ledge right there too. He did it against uh, Chag in the last game. Mm -hmm. See Gluto getting that back here. I love the patience to try to call out the high recovery from Chag with a platform right there, but everybody gets oh. slapped up real quick over to the side. But unfortunately, only his partner dies. Orion falling to that slap, and Chag still living to tell another tale. Okay, going to get a down throw, trying to get a tech chase. Orion does get the follow-up on that on that throw. Good awareness, even though Orion was in disadvantage, managed to get the combo out <laughs> with his teammate. Oh, still living. The ping pong, though. Oh, no, I do not want to be part of this animation. And you don't have the platforms right there to help reset, too. Oh, and un oh, wow. wow. Really rare miss from uh, from Gluto there, where he he ended up falling for his own his own attack, and all of a sudden, Gluto's all by himself, just whipped one thing, and suddenly we're in a huge amount of danger. Wow. This is uh, this is looking all but a wrap as uh, Gluto is being whirled up in this washing machine. Still, though, both these players on a high percent. I mean, Gluto could get either one of these stocks very quickly, and then it's just a one-stock game. When Gluto's in these oh. 2v1 situations, though, this creativity with the bike is always so interesting to see. Very so interesting. He's just going for a ride. Always out here. Trying to get the cross-up, but that up he says otherwise, and then to the immediate follow-up of the up air from Chag. Yeah, and Chag is being so evasive. It's just like every time, oh, there it is, the back throw into the up smash, so effective, and Chag gets that kill. And wow, it, it seemed like it seemed like the game was so close, and then there was that one whiff where the the throw he tried to go for the F tilt on, but then Spargo teched in place and hit him back with the F tilt. It, oh. it also is it's crazy because you blink and you miss it at this point too, because it is best of three to yeah. make it into the top eight. So you know you really only have those those chances to to really. I, try I feel to like turn we never around. settled into the match, you know, yeah. and it's already <laughs> it was over. Very, yeah, it was very centric too. 